This is an American chestnut tree in my backyard and we're nearing peak chestnut. If we look below the tree, we can see this incredible mess is caused all by this tree and animals. There are pods opened up. That's where the chestnut is hidden until it is fully mature. And then it drops it out nice furry lined pouch with incredibly spiky spikes on the outside. Here's the chestnut itself. This is a non-mature or non-viable chestnut. We can see how thin it is. I am on the hunt for viable or pollinated chestnuts to hopefully propagate this tree with. This is my third year doing it. The last two years have ended in disaster. I'll put the links to those videos in the description below so you can check out what disasters those were. But hopefully we're more successful this year. We take a look up at our tree, we can tell there are still many more chestnuts to come down. It's the evening of September 26th. All of this shows me that we're very close to peak chestnut. Last year, it was the first week in October. I have to come out several times a day and look for these viable chestnuts because squirrels and deer vacuum them up pretty much as soon as they hit the ground. We can find evidence of viable chestnuts here. See it, a squirrel has probably gotten to this already and eaten the meat out of it. So obviously this is gonna do us no good at growing more chestnut trees. So I'm gonna take you along on my journey. We'll see how many chestnuts we collect. So I'm gonna take you along on this year's journey, see how many chestnuts we can collect and how I go about trying to germinate them so in spring I can grow more American chestnut trees. Why this tree is near and dear to my heart is it's actually pretty rare. The American chestnut tree was dispersed heavily across the east coast of North America until a blight from Asia came over and virtually wiped out all the trees. There's not many left that are still producing. All right, it's early morning on October 3rd. I've been picking up some chestnuts, but hopefully things are picking up. I gotta get out here early and often, otherwise the squirrels scarf up any ripe ones, eat the meat right out of it. So let's see if we've got any chestnuts this morning. See, it does make quite a mess. And uh, the seed pods, or the chestnut pods, definitely do not decompose over winter. They're very tough. Oh, too late on that one. See, look at that, they eat. A lot of evidence of good ones that have been eaten, unfortunately. Oh, look at that flock of birds. The leaves are just starting to change here and the timing of these chestnuts dropping seems to me that nature wants these things down before the leaves come down so they get covered with leaf litter. This is incredibly tough and frustrating. The squirrels are at it basically all day. They're climbing up the tree, knocking them down, coming down to pick them up. Then at night you get a reprieve, but then the deer come out and they leave no evidence. They just eat the thing whole. So, try to do my best. If they just hold off, give me some of them, they'd have a lot more in the future. Although this generation of squirrels and deer would likely be dead, but you know, for their great grandchildren, maybe they'd have more chestnuts to eat. It's October 4th, and it looks like our chestnut is done dropping. I did clean this up once already this year. Uh, we we're having a fire and having some people over, and these husks are pretty, pretty pokey and dangerous. I didn't want anybody getting slivers because they do break off and then sit in your skin and act like a sliver, and that's very annoying. We can see there's stuff on the ground here that the squirrels or deer haven't eaten, but it's these non-mature chestnuts that aren't worth anything. The peak was about September 30th for filled out ones. You can see I did miss quite a few um, that got eaten by the squirrels. Hard to know how many the deer got because they just disappear altogether when they come at night and scarf them up. 
is a little bit of a pain to clean all this up. The lawnmower won't do it. Uh, I had a lawn tractor with a bagger. It picks some of them up, but not most of them. Uh, the best is to use the backpack blower and just blow them off into the woods where they can decompose, go back into the soil, and add nutrients back to the tree. The 2024 chestnut harvest is over. It was a little bit down. Last year I got 48. This year I was able to get 32 mature chestnuts that hopefully I can germinate. These things have to go to, through a freeze cycle to make that happen. And what I found that works for me is to put them in a bucket, bury them in the ground, put a lid on it. Unfortunately, last year, Squirrels ate a hole in my lid and ate all the chestnuts before I even was able to check them out. The mistake I made, I drilled a few holes in here for a vent and I believe that allowed the chipmunks, the rodents, to smell the chestnuts. They chewed a hole in the lid and ate them all. So this year I got a new lid. I'm not going to do anything with it. I thought about trying to put steel over it or something like that, but I think I'm gonna be okay as long as I don't drill a hole in this and they can't smell it. So all I'm gonna do is put a small layer of potting soil into this bucket, layer the chestnuts in there, and put the bucket in the ground and leave it for winter, check it out in spring. The potting soil is damp. I'm not going to add any other moisture to it. Just kind of cover them up in the first layer there. So there's some seed to soil contact. And the reason I like to use potting soil is it stays nice and loose and in spring I'm able to pull these right out of here and transplant them easily without damaging the sprout. Thanks for watching. If you want to see how these things turn out in spring and my journey to try to propagate this American chestnut tree, the best way to do that is subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Thanks for watching. Adios.